Now, the topic that we want to discuss eh, is called the Zamo expansion. Before you know the definition of the Zamo expansion, you have to know the definition of the terms. Thermo means what and expansion means what. So that is something very important for us to understand. Thermo comes from the word heat. Thermo means what? Heat. And expansion means increase in volume. That comes from the word expand. It is expanding that means, that is to say, there is an increase in volume. So before you define what is the thermo expansion, first of all you have to know what is mean, the meaning of those words that have been used in the topic. So thermo means heat and expansion means increase in volume. So we are just talking about the increase in volume due to the change in temperature. Means you are, there is a cause of increase in volume. That cause of increase in volume is what we are discussing here. Therefore, by definition, thermal expansion is the tendency of matter to change in volume to change in volume in less point to a change in temperature. So we have two things here to discuss. We have to discuss about change in volume and change in temperature. So in absence of the change in temperature, no change in volume. So we are expecting to see change in volume as the result, as the result of change in temperature. So whenever you are increasing the temperature, you are changing the volume. Whenever you are decreasing the temperature, you are changing the volume. But because we are just talking about expansion means we are just talking about increasing of volume increasing in volume and that is why i say thermal energy is the tendency of matter to change in volume in less point to a change in temperature there must be change in temperature in the absence of the change in temperature no change in volume but because of thermal expansion we're talking about rising temperature you got that third point. Not that expansion takes place in all the three states of matter. So we have solid state, we have liquid state, and gas state. So expansion is applied in all of the three states of matter. It is applied in solid state, it is applied in liquid state, it is applied in gaseous state. So those are the things now you have to consider. Whenever you're talking about some expansion, you have to consider about solid, you have to consider about liquid, you have to consider about gaseous. And that is is why we have thermal expansion of solids and we have thermal expansion of liquids and also we have thermal expansion of gases. Now we must consider in three states and that's why I've, I've said thermal expansion takes place in all the three states of matter. So in the absence of those three states of matter we have no something called thermal expansion because where are we going to apply apart from being applied in matter? And we have defined matter as anything that has got mass and occupies space or in short we say matter is anything that has mass and volume and that is why now we have said thermal expansion takes place in all the three states of matter that is solid state thermal expansion of solids in liquid state that is thermal expansion of liquids and gas state we have thermal expansion of gases so we have these three concepts that we are going to discuss so whenever now you discussing about thermal expansion you have to talk about thermal expansion in solid you have to talk about thermal expansion in liquids and you have to talk about thermal expansion in gases so we are going to discuss some expansion in solid, liquid, and gases. Now, for the matter of understanding, now let us start with some expansion of solids. Now, some expansion of solid is something very important to understand, and that is the first and the first thing that we are going to discuss. But all in all about introduction, thermal expansion must be considered in three states of matter: solid state, liquid state, gaseous state. And that is why we have thermal expansion of solid, we have thermal expansion of liquid, and we have thermal expansion of gases. Now, now we are just going to discuss about thermal expansion of solids. Some expansion of solids not solid solids now most of the solid expand when heated that is what we are just going to discuss the impact of the temperature when it rises to the solid when the heat is applied to the solid and there is a rise in temperature that is what we are going to discuss and that is why i've said we are going to discuss now thermal expansion of solids